My guest this week is, I can't believe I've never um, used this one before. Uh, he is only known <laughs> for his appearance on Top Coppers. They're amazing. We'll find out. We'll find out if there's another, we'll find out if there's another series. That's what it's <laughs> We please welcome the amazing John Kearns, ladies and gentlemen. It's John Kearns. Hopefully. Here he comes. There he is. Come in. It's John Kearns. Top coppers. Tom, John Kearns. Yeah. Cool. I, I, don't, I think I've never used that before because, you know, that what I do, I don't know if you know, I do a clever joke at the beginning of each episode of yeah. this is this is a behind the curtain what i do is i choose an obscure thing and pretend it's the main thing and i think until this appearance top coppers was actually your main the main thing you had <laughs> done so i couldn't use that but now you're doing quite well so i can main thing it was the main thing so you know now it's not the main thing anymore is it top coppers i tried to watch it because you told me it was on netflix yeah it's not on netflix anymore uh, well, it was when I recommended it. Yeah, it was, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Well, I was. I was talking to you then already. I didn't need to watch it. When but did you try and watch it? I tried to watch it on Netflix this week, like two days ago. Right. And I tried to watch it on YouTube, and there's a thing, the clip saying the best of Top Coppers, <laughs> and it's one <laughs> one joke. I think. The... <laughs> <laughs> well, it is what a funny was the bit. joke? It's about. <laughs> You're trying to get into a building and yeah. then you stop and think and you're imagining like a, oh, yeah, for a hamster, a, for a a hamster way, yeah. coming down a line and then you go back to the police station, get a hamster and then you throw it through the door <laughs> and break the window. It's yeah. quite funny. Yeah, it's funny. It was, um, a, it, it was a good show. And I did find the original, I didn't know you weren't the original Top Coppers, but I found the original Top Coppers. What Do you know about this? The pilot? Yeah. There's like some mini episodes of it with different people in it. One of them who looks really like you, but isn't you. Have you seen it? Yeah, well, that's how I got the job. Yeah, <laughs> you just looked. <laughs> Wait, I mean, that is weirdly how I did get the job. Right. I was gigging opposite the production company, and the producer went to, it was May Martin and Friends. Yeah. He, he was friends with May Martin. And then he goes, well, that looks like the guy in the pilot, so... Uh, <laughs> Let's cast him. Why didn't they cast the guy from the pilot? Mo, mo, I mean, most acting is that, though, isn't it? <laughs> Why didn't they just get the guys from the pilot who actually had proper ginger hair? He's a producer now. Okay. Well, this we're getting all the. Is there? Is there? Is there? Is there an, no. What? You haven't asked. I haven't told you. What I'm asking you. No, 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 is there you, another you, huh? series? Is there, <laughs> <laughs> is there another series? Is there another series in the pipeline? In the pipeline. Yeah. Oh, so you're not asking if there's another series, but... Is there is anything happening? Is there eight, any... eight, eight years later. <laughs> is there any... The only way there'd be... If I was <laughs> announcing another series, it would be if, I'd, if I was making a clay animation of it. <laughs> I've hired every actor <laughs> to do all the voices. I could have used them, just filmed them yeah. doing it, but no, <laughs> I've, spent, I've spent eight years making a second series of animation of Top Coppers. <laughs> yeah. No, it, 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 the channel closed. We've, we, we cover this every time. I cover your podcast. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember the, the, everything I've talked to people about. That's not. That's too much. The, the channel closed. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the last things on BBC Three. Okay. Then they brought back BBC Three. Yeah, and <laughs> no, they didn't carry on with everything. Okay. Um, no, I mean you know you've done shows that end. I mean, I'm hoping there'll be more series. I mean, I, mean, I haven't given up hope of another series of Fist What do you want to come back? <laughs> All of it. I'm expecting just to, a call want... any minute. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to come back, make uh, Time Gentleman, please? Yeah. Now that we've got another series of Time Gentleman, please. What, after 20 years? Yeah, brilliant. That made, that made you money, didn't it? It did make you money. I remember when I ever listened to you talk about that, I think, God, oh, that's what you need. You want money. Yeah, but it was hard. It was hard work. I mean, it was good money for where... Because I hadn't made any money until that point. So I did 10 years of work and broke even, basically. And but you then bought did, a house in Shepherd's Bush Then I did that. Time Gentleman, please. Yeah. And then, and, well, not that, you know, I put, got a mortgage as a result of it. But, I, yeah, I earned, like, more money than I could, I could ever have dreamed existed. <laughs> How much did you make 
an episode. Uh, about 10 grand an episode. Plus then repeat fees. I mean, it's a, it, was, it was good. Every time through the, the noughties, which were a sort of slightly more barren period for me, every, every time I thought, oh, I'm going to have to move house, a check would come from time to time. Please being repeated somewhere. It got smaller each time, but it was each time going, oh, thank God that turned up. Occasionally Talking Cock as well. Talking Cock was put on in France. The man did it in France and was very famous. And every now and again, a check would come through from that. Oh, thank God I can eat. Money's interesting, isn't it, in yeah. comedy? Because no one talks about money. <laughs> I know, and there's, uh, you know, I know how much I make for doing, you know, you've, you've been in Taskmaster, you know how much you make for doing Taskmaster, which is a nice amount of money. And you kind of, I do a job like that two times a year if I'm lucky. Uh, you know, like an episode. And you, you do a whole series of guessable. Uh, and then I think, and then I look at the people who are just on them all the time, I think, how much fucking money do you need? It's insane how much people <laughs> It is insane how much people make. Yeah, because that if you're at a low, I'm presuming I'm only guessing what someone who's like in, I don't know, uh, let's say, oh, I got news for you. I'm only guess. I can only guess what they would get after twenty, thirty years of being the same people in that show, and they get it all the time. Well, like Ian Hislop, probably. Yeah, I mean, you must get. They're on like fifty grand. An fifty episode. grand an episode. Yeah. We're guessing. <laughs> 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 Neither of us know that, but we both went, yeah. Know. Sounds about I mean, right. don't get much for I got news for you, but I bet they get a lot for it. I got news oh, for yeah. You. And they deserve every penny. <laughs> I like Paul Burton. Me too. But as a kid, watching him, you know when he said something funny and his whole shtick was going, ma. <laughs> I never liked that as a kid. Right. And it, it's only as I got a bit older that I realised what he was doing. Yeah. But as a kid, I'd be watching it going, how the fuck is he the only one in the room who doesn't know that that's funny? <laughs> <laughs> how has he got there? <laughs> Good luck, Tim. Good luck to... This is your fourth appearance on uh, Rahalastapur, John. And you know what's remarkable about? I think you do know what's remarkable about because you re you've <laughs> yeah. remarked on it. But yeah, it. you've never uh, you've never actually had me on at Leicester Square. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've done uh, one in Edinburgh. Yeah. I did one in Winchester. Once. Yeah, you did. That was that tour where you wanted to uh, basically have people on from the area that they were from. Yeah, well, try tried to get people from yeah, where, yeah from, who were around. Yeah. Yeah. So I was born about ten minutes from Leicester okay. Square. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, Winchester. Went to Winchester. Yeah. Then we did one in lockdown, so I've done one from my house. Yeah. And now I'm sat in Leicester. <laughs> so I'm getting close to Leicester Square. It's got Leicester in the name. Yeah. Where's the where? What's the what's the place where the in China where the guy stood in front of a tank? A Ch a Chinaman Square. Chinaman yeah. Square. We'll do one there. So yeah. <laughs> We've got the square bit in. <laughs> <laughs> we should do one there. <laughs> let's, let's see how that goes. It didn't, it didn't work out too well for that bloke in front of the tank, from what I remember. Did but, it? No, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. I, no, it, hang on. It, I think he's, you know. Oh, right, yeah. I think he's, I think he's gone. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I don't think they, you know. So we don't, let's not do that. Let's go and celebrate the Chinese government. <laughs> what, you and me? Yeah. <laughs> Should we try and sell China? 